We'll see how these two teams play in this game as they prepare for the opening kickoff. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Missouri's a team and a program that year in, year out, has got 1,000-yard rushers. Sometimes they've got two, and they've got that huge offensive line, and you, know, you get too worried about them, and sometimes you can overlook the fact that you play them. It's going to be tough today for this defense. I think they're going to have to take some chances and load this line of scrimmage. And, you know, as a play caller for this offense, when you have such a gifted running back, it opens up every aspect of the offense. I mean, the play-action pass with this running game, you get those linebackers and safeties coming up close to the line of scrimmage. It's a great time to really open up and, and show what you can do as a complete Jay, offense. Jay, It'll be a challenge. He's taken down at the 43. What a play. Just a simple option play here. The quarterback gives it up, and they get good yardage. Great play. Go, kill, kill, kill. He's scrambling. There he goes. And he's tackled at about the 49. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That makes it second and two. He's into the open field. He's tackled at the 36-yard line. So he keeps it, and he gets That's a big first down. The quarterback made a very good first decision down. here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. Here we go, here we go, kill, here kill. Here we go. Orange Panther three. Two. Orange. Got his man. Oh, what a hit. Nothing flashy at all. But now that first down marker is a lot closer. That brings him second and five. Here we go, here we go. Here we go. Throws it in a hurry. They'll bring him down at the 22. From the 22-yard line, first down. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. And they make the stop at about the 25-yard line. And the defensive end comes up with a big play. Boy, he's quick as a cat, no question. He got tremendous penetration and was able to wrap him up for a loss there. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Quick throw, and he's taken down at the 21-yard line. That's a team of four. Third down. Throws quickly, and it's almost intercepted. Hey, that's a heads-up play there by the defender. Get those hands up, and something good may just happen. It's fourth down. They'll line it up for the field goal. Missouri is looking to go up by three. Kicks up, and it is good. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Gains his way to the 33-yard line. to that quickly. Tackle made around the 46-yard line. Gains his way to the 46-yard line. Pick up. 
He scrambles. Tackle right around the 34. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 34 yard line. Gets out to around the 22. Scrambling. Got an opening. Nice play to set up first and goal. The offensive coordinator right now is very happy with the execution. That's the fifth first down on this drive alone. The big thing is when you have this kind of drive going, you don't want to end it in a field goal. Now you want to focus on trying to put the football into the end zone. Touchdown, Oregon! the PAT. A nice nine play, 76 yard drive, and they put up seven points. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out. They can really demoralize a defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. They line up to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. They'll spread the field with five wide. Now he tries to buy some time. Brought down at about the 33-yard line. That makes it second and two. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Passes to the wide out, and he can't pull it in. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. And he tackles him hard at the 33. First down. He makes it out to maybe the 33 yard line. And down he goes at the 28 yard line. That's a gain of five on the play. That'll make it 35. There's a strike complete. He's taken down at the 22-yard line. Call it a game of six yards. First down. Hey, alert 48. Hey, we don't like the 48 right now. Let's go. Kill, kill, kill. Fires it out. That's a great tackle at the 10-yard line. Call it a game of six yards. That makes it first and 10. Maybe three yards on that run. We've played one quarter. The Ducks lead 7-3. We welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Touchdown, Missouri! It shouldn't have surprised these guys to see the run coming at them, but they just couldn't stop it. 
So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. He makes the PAT. A nine-play, 74-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Both teams are kind of struggling to take control of this game. Obviously, they're both very, very competitive with one another. It just seems that the lead is going back and forth between the two teams. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Scrambling around. And he's tackled around the 37-yard line. He's on the run. He's tackled at the 46. it out to maybe the 46-yard line. Nothing there on the keeper. That'll make it 31. Mike 8! Mike 8! What's the run? They're running it! Run check! Thunder! Thunder! He gets out to about the 44-yard line. He gets hit out of bounds. That's the 36. That makes it third and three. So we're looking at another third down here. him hard at the 26-yard line. for this offense to go back to some more straightforwards between the tackles running. They want to win this thing in the trenches. We're at play number nine of this current drive. And he's tackled in the open field. With the reception. Number eight on the tackle at the 23-yard line. That'll bring up third and eight. Let's go! Easy, easy, easy! Black, Lucky 95! Lucky 95! Zips it to the back. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Drop back four yards on that one. Well, that play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. Oregon is looking to tie things up. Kicks away, and he just drilled it from long range. Yeah, he got some good leg behind it, and he kicked an accurate ball right between the goalposts. This one's all even at 10. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Excellent kick. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. He makes it to the 28-yard line. Here's 
a screen pass. Gets it to the back. And they push him out around the 34-yard line. Five, maybe six on that screen pass. Third down. Hey, And he's immediately tackled. That's good for the game. Five yards. That makes it first and ten. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. It's a big time effort sack by the defensive end. I want to also give some credit to the coverage downfield. The end never gave up on the play, but because the quarterback didn't have anywhere to go with the football, it gave the defensive end enough time to eventually chase the quarterback down for that sack. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. Wants to go long and done. Uh, and he's got it to the 10. What a play, brought down inside the five. It's really difficult to cover somebody this fast. You can't stay with him in a one-on-one -on -one coverage. And even when you double team him, he still has the speed to beat you. You just have to hope that the timing is off between him. Fires quickly to the tight end, he's got it, touchdown. He tacks on the extra point. It was a seven-play, 75-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brad, how about the guys up front? The offensive line giving the quarterback plenty of time to be able to read the defense and make the right throw. The score now, 17-10. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He's hit before he can go anywhere. Here's the halfback on the screen. He's at the 30. And he is drilled at the 20. He was able to get to that second level, and once he was there, he had room to run. He was pretty tough to stop. I thought he was going to go all the way. They'll bring him down at the 10. I'll tell you something. I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. From the 10-yard line. First down. And he's level at the one. Oregon's going to have to use their second time out of the hat. Touchdown, Ducks. I think the option down by the goal line is a great call. It puts so much pressure on the defense and it allows the quarterback to have the decision to run it or pitch it. And this time it worked to perfection. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. And he converts the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. He's scrambling. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. And they make the stop at the 33-yard line. That's good for him. That makes it second and ten. They come out in a five-wide set. He zips it. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads-up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Kill, kill! Panther two! 
He's going to try and scramble. Got the corner. And he's taken down around the 36-yard line. Kill, kill, kill. Yellow three. First down. Yellow three. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Orange three. Orange. He scrambled. And he's sacked. They go to the back, and he's hit immediately in the backfield. He just never had a chance to get any running room. The defense was on him almost as soon as the ball was snapped. And here's another third down. He rifles it. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. That makes it first and ten. Five-yard line. Hey, kill, kill, kill! Black five, 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 five. Defense goes with the extra defensive backs as the offense comes up five wide. Just throws this one away. This is the ninth play of this drive. it out. Puts it right in his hands. Touchdown. And he adds the extra point. A nine play, 75 yard drive. And it's good for seven points. So our score, 24-17. Well, we can catch our breath at halftime along with these two offenses. What a showing in the first half. 24-17, Missouri. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. So far, so good for both offenses in terms of taking care of the football, but now the defenses are ramping up the sense of urgency in terms of trying to get the ball back from their offense. Uh, absolutely, and you got to find Reese, these ball hawks on defense. They need to find the football. They need to make some big plays, create some turnovers. How about using that hit stick a little bit? How about knocking somebody silly and making them drop the football? I mean, defense's number one priority is trying to turn the football over, try to make a big explosive play for your offense so, so they can do more damage and they can take the ball down the field. So those ball hawks need to show themselves in the second half. Just about time to start the second half. What, what do you think Herb Street's first point of analysis will be? Uh, I don't know, something to do with quarterback play, I'm sure. I mean, we got to hear that stuff all the time. It's all about the quarterbacks. Brad and Kirk ready for the second half. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Wow, close game here, and up and down the field with both these offenses matching what the others done. Well, it's fun to watch each offense get an opportunity to go out and make plays, and you're right, you almost feel as, as if one offense feels challenged and has to be able to bounce back, and they've done that. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Tackle at about the 27-yard line. offensive coordinator. I've always really appreciated his approach to the games. He's a little bit 
being unorthodox in his approach, and this time he gives the wide receiver a chance to carry the football to pick up the first down. Now he's scrambling. Good tackle there in space. He might have a chance. Makes it out to about the 30. It's first and 10. Ball on the 30 yard line. Here's an opening. Ball is loose. Fumble. The defense has it. That mistake will cost this offense possession of the ball. And this young safety was right there to pick up the fumble. Huge break for the defense. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. Missouri up seven points. He's taken down right around the 18 yard line. Now he tries to buy some time. And down he goes right around the 24 yard line. Scrambling around. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. Slides down. That's a gain of nine on the play. First down. Tight right, tight right. Four down, four down. Hey, look for eight kills. Check three, check three, check three. Quick toss. Caught. And he's tackled at the 28. Makes the reception. Four down, four down. First down. Hey, look, 48. Hey, you don't like the 48 right now. Let's go. He's on the run. That's a great tackle at the one yard line. That's a deal of 12 on the play. Hoping to go up two touchdowns here. They don't get back to the line of scrimmage there on the option keeper. A loss of one. Here's the eighth play of the series. Missouri is up by a touchdown. He's scrambling. Decides to take it himself, and he's got it. Touchdown. He splits the uprights with the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. 
Misfortune struck as their last drive ended in a fumble. I look for the offense to come out with the same game plan as before. You don't make changes after one play. He's tackled at the 34-yard line. Gets it out to about the 47 yard line. He's at the 40. Gains his way to the 30 yard line. And that was an excellent run there. Yeah, Brad, but it was also great blocking up front by the offensive line to open up the hole. He's at the 20. Big opening. He gets out to about the 11 yard line. And he's stopped behind the line. That's a loss of six yards. It's second and 15. Ball on the 17 yard line. Let's go! They'll knock him down for a loss. That'll bring up third and long. Zips it to his receiver, touchdown. That was a well drawn up play for the wideout. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. And the secondary didn't quite seem alert enough to defend that pass. He makes the PAT. Oregon to kick. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This senior quarterback's been showing off his many skills, Kirk. Anytime a quarterback can prove that he's a threat to a defense running the football, it's just one more thing that the defense has to try to contain and slow down. This is why being a dual threat guy can just drive a defensive coordinator crazy. Because if you line up to try to stop the pass, the guy's going to run with it. If you think, okay, let's stop him from running the football, he'll throw it over your head. Well, all of his good plays have added up to his team enjoying the lead. Go, I was really team. impressed with their last series. They came out with a focus on the passing game, and the offense got the job done. We'll see if they have the same strategy here. Fires quickly, and he's got his man, and he tackles him hard at the 43-yard line. And they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five-wide set. Easy, easy. Makes the catch, and look out. Call it again at five yards. That brings him second and five. Missouri is up seven. Let's make these babies cry all the way back home, y'all. Easy. Check three, check three, check three. He goes out of bounds around the 50-yard line. Offense lines up in a five-wide set and a defense anticipating pass here. his receiver and that's a first down they'll bring him down right around the 38 yard line can they pull off the upset well we're going to find out as we head into the fourth quarter 31 24 tigers into the fourth quarter now and we're back to the action hey alert 48 hey we're going to mic the 48 right now let's go dog four 
He gets out to about the 38-yard line. So he decides to hold on to it, and it goes nowhere. That was the junior linebacker who get credit with the tackle there. Hey, we got to get the stop here, D. Hey, kill, kill, kill! kill. kill. Black Black He's going to try and scramble. He's at the 30, and they make the stop right around the 26-yard line. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Kill, kill, kill. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. And he's hit immediately. Makes the first down catch. Missouri is up a score. Makes it to the five. That makes it second and two. Gets to about the five yard line. It's the 11th play of the drive. And it looks like they're going to bring everyone in tight for this one. He scrambles. And he's going to run this one in. Touchdown. He made a great move to get into the end zone. There's a perfect play call. They looked like they practiced that one a few times. And he hits the PAT. So an 11 play, 76 yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a seven on seven drill to not see the ball touch the ground. But this time they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback and receiver. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Brad, this is my kind of game. I love seeing this kind of production and the way these quarterbacks are playing. Both teams are challenging both of these defenses. Well, they got the result you always want on the last drive. Let's see if it happens again. Mike eight. Mike eight. Get out. Get out. Blue 80. Makes it out to about the 33. And taken down. I think the defense that time may have cheated a little bit with the safeties. And I think the offensive line allowed them to recognize the pre snap blitz that was coming, put them in a position to be able to pick up that blitz, gave the quarterback time. Next time, I think they've got to disguise their blitz and when they're coming and time it up a little bit better. Just under three to go in regulation. The lineman got a little ahead of the snap count. Here's the call. False start, offense. Once you're set, you've got to stay that way. The slightest flinch is going to be enough to draw the flag. From the 47-yard line, it's second down. And he hits him hard at the 42. Loss of 11 yards on That'll bring, bring up third, third and long. Larry, Larry. That's the end up. Mike eight. Mike eight. He wants it all. Almost picked off. Number 16, the intended receiver on the play. Fourth down. It's away, and it's a booming punt. And he 
he's taken down at the 23-yard line. Missouri's expertise carrying the football is what we thought was going to be in the spotlight today, and here it's been the passing game instead. Yeah, we really thought this running back would have one of those days you'd remember for a long time, but this passing game has stepped up and been put this offense in a position to be able to win this game. And he gains around three on that keeper. This junior corner has been progressively improving his run defense. He's better at diagnosing those plays now, and he knows how to bring a guy down. The Ducks will use their first time out of the half. Second and seven. Ball on the 26-yard line. Heading for the corner. Oregon's going to have to use their second time out of the half. It's great when a running attack comes through for the first down like this. It makes an offense so much more versatile. Just over two minutes in the game. Oregon's called their final timeout. A couple of yards there by the tailback on the counter. Gains his way to the 49-yard line. From the 49-yard line, first down. They come out in a five-wide set. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. He'll get the call again. Nice run there. Six yards there on the counter. All the game of six yards. That'll bring up third and eight. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 39. They come out on an empty backfield. And he's taken down at the 49. That makes it so much well. Check, check. Dancer, dancer. Yeah, good dance. Go, go. And so that's going to do it. The Tigers take the win 38 24. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.